You are all welcome to this video. Till now, we have studied about different types of quadrilaterals. Today, we will know about the area of one of these quadrilaterals which we know as trapezium. Kritika's elder sister has asked Kritika to make a tablecloth for this table. Kritika does not know how much cloth will she require for this task. But after some time, she finds out. Let's see what Kritika did. First of all, Kritika observed the shape of the table. Can you tell? Well done. This is a trapezium. She knows that she has to find the area of the table to find out the measurements of the cloth required. For which Kritika names the four corners of the table as A, B, C and D in this way. Now in a pair of parallel sides, Kritika draws a perpendicular from the shorter side to the longer side. and marks all measurements. She sees a rectangle EFCD by drawing perpendiculars and two right angled triangles DEA and CFB. Kritika knows well how to find the area of rectangles and triangles. By adding these, she finds the area of the table and a cloth of the same measurement is brought from the market to make tablecloth. But the thing to consider is, do we have to repeat the same activity to find the area of an object of a trapezium shape? No. Let us find the formula to find the area of a trapezium with the help of Kritika for this activity. For this, let's visit the calculations done by Kritika. Now we write this calculation as follows. From the picture, we can see that DE and CF are the opposite sides of rectangles EFCD whose measurements are equal. So, we write CF as DE. Since DE is common, this equation can also be written as such. Now, to solve the equation further, we multiply and divide this part of the equation by 2. With the help of which, this equation can also be written in this way. And then, we can solve this equation further. This gives us this result. Where DE is the height of this trapezium and AB and CD are parallel sides. So, we can say that the area of a trapezium is half of the product of its height and the sum of the parallel sides. In this way, today in this video, we learned to find the area of a trapezium. In the next video, we will see some examples based on this.